I'm sure I'm gonna show you how to mount the uh, motorized mount into the the quad captors. Uh, you need to have the needle nose pliers and also the um, the hex or Allen wrench screwdriver. You also need um, the 3M double sided tape. That's what I'm using a lot uh, for mounting the uh, the GoPros. So cut a little, little um, small strip of um, tapes and then you just put them in the front of the bottom portion of the heroes. And then peel this out. You can also use Velcro if you want to, um, but I, I noticed um, Velcro you need to have also a wire tie, otherwise it, it might come off when you do it in the flight. Now um, the mount, let me show you a little bit about the mount first. The top portion is where you have the square plate. The bottom portion is where you mount the hero. It's on the on the skinnier portion. This is your bottom. Um, the motorized, it should be, if you're looking at it this way, uh, the motorized should be uh, on your left hand. And then this is how you mount the, uh, the hero, like, like this. But we don't have to put the hero on it first. Um, and when you mount the hero cameras, you want to mount where your, your, your lens is right in the center of the mount. Not, not, not your cameras, the lens. Because it's so wide angle, uh, you want it to mount it right in the middle, as middle as you can do with the mounting. Um, okay, so right now, let's open up the, uh, the quad captors, the, the caps. Again, the, the top portions, where your, your square plates, you need the, the bottom two holes. And the, the screw sets. When you drop in the hole into the slot right here. So you have a little uh, curved slot. So this go right in underneath. And then you need to have another washer on the bottom. And then the nuts. So I, I didn't tie it all the way yet. This is how you mount the, uh, again, when you're looking at the front, your motorized should be on your left side. So this gives you the full uh, 90, or close to 90 degree uh, downward. So once you mount the first screw in there, you mount the second screw set in there. Again, use your hand to hold on to the bottom side of the screw, and then your thumb to hold on to the, the bracket. Flip it on the sideway, put in the, um, the remaining washer, and then put in the, the little nuts. It might be a little difficult to hold on to the small nuts. So make sure that you have something to let it fall back so you don't lose the nuts. So this allows you to temporarily mount the, uh, the low mount. Now to tighten it, you need the needle nose pliers. Hold it against the bottom where the nuts are. So hold, hold the nuts on the other side. And align the uh, align this bracket right in between the two arms. So once it's aligned, you you want to tighten the the nuts. It's not really aligned yet, so let's align a little more. And you want you want this um, this screw and this screw to be the farthest side of the of the little curve. Don't try to put them in the middle. So you, now you have more uh, leverage holding the, the, the brackets. So again, hold the bottom with the uh, screw, uh, the uh, needle nose pliers, and tighten the, the little nuts. Don't, don't need to over tie it uh, as long as it fits, then it's fine. So that's how you mount the brackets. So once you've finished mounting the brackets, you can now. Put your GoPro heroes in the center. Again, the, the lens right in the center of the mount. Not your cameras, the lens. 
So place it, and you just uh, hold on to the double-sided tape for 10 seconds. And this will permanently, well, pretty much permanently mount it with the 3M tape. Now, um, if your angle, because it's still real wide, if it's too wide, and it, it, when you shoot the video, when you hit the two arms, the feet, so you, want, you can spread the feet a little wider, just a little bit wider. By putting this on this side, you can bend it a little bit wider, and bend this side a little wider. So that, that will avoid the, the, the wide angle lens to hit the front of the skit when you do the tilt control. Now the wires that come out from the motorized mount, this go into the receivers. Your receiver side, you should, there should be saying AUX2. That's where this wire is going to. And the white portion of the wire, the white piece of the wire should be uh, 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 along with the, the rest of the positions. So you want to put this right in the second to the last slot. This is where you see the AUX. And then to, to test it, you can able to plug in the batteries. But before you plug in the batteries, make sure you have all the four motors, the blade, uh, onto the motors. Otherwise, it's very dangerous. You might be able to burn out the motors. So again, look at my in in initial instruction on how to set the controller. Make sure this is all the way to the zero positions. And make sure the joystick on the bottom. So let's turn on this. Now you have a only a few seconds to, to plug in the batteries to initialize it. So that's how you initialize. Notice the motors, motorized mount is, is beginning to um, give you a little um, power into it. So this, to, to control the motorized mount, is, is doing through this little knobs. So now your, your AUX knob is where you control your quad uh, tilt control on the cameras. So it's pretty simple. Uh, it takes about maybe five minutes to do the uh, setup on the on the mount, and then once you finish testing, everything's uh, uh, good to go. Then you just need to pretty much set it to the middle and unplug the batteries, and then you just need to put this back in the little hub. So that's how you, and then turn off the radio, and that's how you mount um, using the, the GoPro cameras.